What is going on guys, Buzz back here with another video and today we're going through my first two rounds of my NJMP league race. This is my first time ever racing competitively in a league or any sorts like that. So it was a pretty big deal to me. I'm not gonna waste too much more time. So just, you know, click that like and subscribe button. It means the world to me, like I always say. Um, unfortunately, I forgot the press to record button or actually I turned my camera off before the qualifying session. Bruh. So I missed qualifying in the practice session. So next time I'll definitely have that, but we'll just skip right into the races. <laughs> So I qualified P6. I was actually really, really happy about that. Um, I was like the fastest out of the new people. And I know my qualifying pace is typically a little bit slower than my race pace. So I thought we had a really good shot at a podium here. Unfortunately for me, my car did have one major weakness and it had really, really terrible low end. So on the standing start, we had not the best launch, you could say. We definitely dropped a couple places right off the bat. But coming off the line, you see P6 and P7 just breeze right past us. Um, they had, again, much better starts. I'm going to send it down the inside here. It's sort of going to stick. Not really. He's definitely going to have a good run still. And now we're going to have to try to battle him all the way down. But now we've also left ourselves exposed to everybody else behind. Luckily, they're not going to have the speed to get us going in the turn two. So we're just going to kind of tuck into the single file line and see what we can do here. I'm going to send it down here. A little bit of brushing is all good. And we're going to get past. But now, again, let Left myself exposed the low end that coming out of the corner just wasn't there and they're gonna have a better run out i'm gonna try to send it down the inside here and try to hold the position it's gonna work for now but again the low end coming out is just not gonna work they're gonna go right around me cart 21 is actually gonna take a little cut through the grass all good and cart 27 is gonna favor his chances right here too and it's gonna send down the inside all good lap one we're still in the race we have the pace so not too worried at this point. I'm going to take my chance here at number 27, send down the inside again. I am going to brush him. It looks a lot more dramatic in the video than it actually has. So I promise I did not just punt him off the track. Now we're back chasing 31. We're just going to get behind and try to bang in some laps and see if we can catch up. Through turns two and three, we definitely have a pace advantage. You see if we can get right up on his front bumper here. And I'm definitely going to take the shot to try to get the overtake done coming out of turn three. He looks the wrong way. He thinks he's going with the right side. And I'm just going to stay behind him for now. I'm not going to rush the overtake. He's going to wash out a little wide. So I'm going to try to take him around the outside i actually do manage to get the stick here but he's going to try to get that inside line and hold the curb i'm just going to be able to cut him off just enough to hold the curb and get past him going on the main straight now i'm going to try to tuck into slip dream a bit here behind cart number 26 and see if we can catch up to him coming the turn one though looks like someone's gonna have a really big spin i'm gonna just try to avoid them as much as i can i'm gonna take to the runoff area um just being more safe than sorry now cart 31 here did take it a bit tighter than i did so he's going to try to have a little bit run up that you see me looking at He's a bit too far back, so I didn't really have to defend too much. I'm again just going to truck behind number 26 here and see if we can try to have a move done. Coming out of the final turn, I actually had a pretty good run on him, and we're going to tuck in the slipstream here a bit and get pretty close to him. Well, his car had pretty good low end. Its high end was absolutely atrocious, so I've been able to catch up to him pretty easily. He looks the wrong way here. I thought it was kind of a funny moment, um, but I'm going to try to send down the inside here on the brakes, but completely blow it, send it off the track a little bit, and uh, onto the ripples I go, and he's going to be able to fight this all the way back turn two we go we're kind of neck and neck here he's going to hold the inside of the line and i'm just going to concede here i'm not going to try to risk going around the outside or anything because right now i'm actually under pressure from number 31 behind as well so nothing too risky just tuck behind we know we had the straight line speed on him so tuck behind into the next straight and we should be okay this was an interesting moment though he's actually going to send it on the driver in front of him which is going to give us a great opportunity to try to get past both he forces 16 really wide and to have a bad exit so we can get past him pretty easily here just going onto the curb now we're gonna have the slipstream and the better high end speed again behind 26 all the way down to turn one. So exact repeat of last time. Hopefully this time we'll be able to get the stick. Once again, sending it down the inside. He knows what side I'm on this time. He knows exactly what I'm going for on the brakes and I get it the stick on a good exit. But unfortunately the cart bogs down and now we're back exactly where we started lap one with a battle between us three. Um, 31 and 26 going to turn two I'm gonna try to make 31 back out and he does and that should give us the lead and the pace advantage on both of them from there is actually a really really boring race um, we ended up taking a checkered flag p5 p1 through four kind of just too far in front to catch up to once we cleared everybody else from the bad start but honestly first league raised p5 top five finish I'll take it I was really really happy about it All right, round two, we are starting P5 now. The finish from race one is always a start for race two. Um, so starting P5, a position higher than we started last time, not too bad. I was thinking hopefully since we were starting a bit higher, we could get a better start this time and be able to fight with the top four, but that was not the case. At the start, even worse start than last time, we're actually gonna drop all the way to dead last this time. 
it was honestly pretty disheartening at first, but the only thing I was thinking is at least we can get some good overtakes in. As you see, literally last place goes right past us right there, and going into turn one, we can get that place back. So now we're just looking at the other 14 drivers in front of us, and hopefully you can make a move here. Going into turn two, we're going to have a little look. Nothing's really there. Going into turn three, perhaps, um, but we're going to opt to back out a little bit and just kind of get behind everybody and see what happens. Sure enough, driver 32 goes a bit wide, and we're going to send it down the inside, but get squeezed a bit by number 27 coming across. Um, we're going to squeeze 32 a bit and get back into the corner, but we're going to be able to get that overtake done. Now looking at driver 27 coming down the main straight, we know we have some pretty good top end speed, so hopefully you'll be able to get past him either on the straight or going into turn one. Don't quite know what happened here, but it looks like he lost touch with the driver in front of him a bit. I give him a bit of a bump because there's not really a reason to overtake him right now. We can kind of use him to kind of catch up the other drivers, but we're going to send down the inside of turn one again. I think this is actually the same driver he forced wide last time, so sorry to do it to him twice, but... We gotta get going. Going in here, I don't even think these two drivers really saw us. Just gonna send down the inside a little late on the brakes and get behind driver 26, our best friend from last race. Now we're sitting down in P8. We know we have better pace than driver 26 here. Um, not to any of his fault. I think his cart was just slower on this day. Um, gonna send down the inside here. I think we're gonna manage to get a stick, and it does. And just like that, we are back up to P7. Unfortunately, that is where our excitement ended, and we weren't really able to make many more overtakes in this race. We're in P7 right now. P6 actually ended up having a spin, which allowed us to get past. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make really much of an impression on the drivers in front. The good news is they weren't getting any further away, but the bad news is that we weren't getting any closer, so we we're probably on equal pace. Um, they were also kind of towing each other along the top four tend to do that in this league, so being so far removed was just kind of painful. So we kind of had our own race the first two races, but I'll take it a P5 and a P6 in the first two races. In my first league, not too bad, which would put us P5 in the standings overall. But that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit shorter than what I typically do, but there wasn't too much exciting racing to go on. Hopefully, I can give you guys some more exciting races in the future. But again, if you guys like this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. It means the world to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.